Today I stand with the same faith, same resources, and the same commitment. My running mate has said what happened. There were not more than 57, we are 59. But today we stand among the four proudly. But we say of these four candidates, two of them have been there before. They have had an opportunity to deal with the situation which we are talking about, but they didn't. In fact, they are named in it. The Goliath of Corruption. The other one, who is more of a joker than a leader, is in the intelligentsia. <laughs> you know, one never retires from the intelligence. No, you don't. I am told by Kenyans, and I fall in that class, they don't even quite understand who he is. But let me not dwell much on him because it's not about personalities. You could even be here, and he has been one of the carriers and couriers of the more than 20 trillion Kenyans stashed abroad. I am starting to say that we are different. I am different. And I'll do it differently. I owe nobody allegiance. I owe nobody allegiance. But let me come to the current and just mention a couple of things. A manifesto is a little long. We will not read all of it. Where we are. Right now, Kenya is reading through such high cost of living. And one of the questions you've been asked by Kenyans and you, members of the Fifth Estate, is what are you going to do about it? For us as Kenyans, we are saying the following, that we will not do it the style of those who've been be there before. They have promised Kenyans what they will do, but they have not told them where they'll get the money from. For us, we started by telling you where our money is from, where our money is. And we are saying when you vote us in and vote us into that leadership, we'll get that money. We'll get that money for you.